When a high explosive bomb falls, any building near is likely to be destroyed, and any house hit is sure to collapse. The rate of supply of Anderson shelters is limited, but every householder can take measures for protection against blast and splinters. He can do the work for himself using scrap materials and earth. From any post office, you can get a booklet, price threepence, which tells you just how to make your home an air raid shelter. To protect a window, fix an old door firmly across the lower half, inside and outside, first removing the glass, and fill the intervening space with earth. An earth barricade about 30 inches thick will protect your front door from blast. Cover the earth with old lino to prevent rain washing it away. A similar earth rampart will protect a basement or area window. The best way to protect a room from glass splinters is to stick curtain netting, or old lace curtains, on the glass itself. There are ample supplies of netting now available. This will not prevent the glass breaking, but it will stop dangerous splinters flying about. Spread the paste evenly and cut the material so that it overlaps the frame as well as covering the glass. A well-filled bookcase placed before a window gives good protection against blast and bomb splinters. Rig up one room in your house as a refuge room, a small room, and give it all the protection you can. A coal cellar is a good refuge. To make it comfortable, you may have to stay in it a long time. It's up to you to take these precautions, not only to save your own lives, but to ease the work of the civil defence forces. When the raiders pass signal sounds, you'll emerge safely thanks to these simple safeguards which you can make for yourselves. The full instructions are in the booklet. Go to the post office and get a copy today.